So my simple show is exactly that. It is a simple way to create a whiteboard explainer video. Um, and it does most of the legwork for you. You need to have your information that you want to share with your viewer, um, but they'll pretty much take care of all the animations and everything. So when you are ready to create a video, after you log in, you create new video and then you name your project. Um, this one is going to be called Influenza. Now you can do one of two things. You can either write your own script or if you have a PowerPoint file that's already created and you want to upload that, you can. I don't have that, so I'm going to write my own script. It asks you if it's a professional, a personal, or an educational video. Um, it's definitely an educational, and then you can search through all the different options that are available. If you don't see yours here, you can always choose one that's the closest and then personalize it um, to make it yours. And they also have a blank template if there's nothing that's even close that you can start from the beginning. Um, but mine is because I'm going to explain a medical disease. Now, when it loads, it asks you a question, and that's basically what you want to answer on this particular slide. Um, so for my title slide, I'm going to say this is influenza. Um, on the next page, it wants you to put your symptoms. It wants you to introduce your fictional character um, who's starting to notice symptoms of a disease. It gives you a couple examples over here that you can use um, as, a, as an example and model for, and it can model it for you about what it should look like. So my um, fictional character is Jackie. So this is Jackie. Then it asks you what the diagnosis is. They always want you to go see the doctor on this one. Um, so there's certain things that you absolutely have to do. And if you don't like them, then you'll just have to go create your own. Um, but for this one, I'm going to say that Jackie goes to the doctor and he gives her a flu test. All right, now for the cause. Um, for the cause of influenza, it's a transmittable virus. So I'll just say influenza is a transmittable virus that can be passed through droplets from one person to another. You can go on and on explaining more about um, the cause. Now for the treatment, um, simply enough, uh, the doctor suggests I Buprofen for the fevers and pain. If, so now the course. So this is talking about um, what's going to happen now that she knows she has it. What's going to happen with the disease or with the sickness, whatever it is you're talking about. If she follows the doctor's advice. She should be cured in a few days. All right, so prevention. How can you prevent getting this disease? Wash your hands. You can also get a flu vaccine, which will vac ooh, vaccinate you on many strands of this virus, but not all, right? Once you're done, I would put in as much information as you can for the sake of 
um, time, I just put in very simple sentences here. But you want to make sure you show how much you learn. Okay, now for choosing the vis visuals, it sets everything up. And what it does is it takes keywords from what you typed and it puts in the visuals from those. All right, so it knows influences a disease, so it makes it look like you have that. All the things that are underlined, it throws in pictures of them. So if there's some that come up and you're like, uh, that does not fit, um, you can delete it. Like, I don't know why that clock is there, so I'm going to delete it. And um, you can move things around as well to make them look better after you delete things. Submit. All she wants to do is sleep. I know, it's horrible. All right, so it looks like, let's get rid of this one. I don't think that one matches. Move that over, maybe make it a little bigger. All right, well, it's just Jackie and it's a girl, so I'm gonna get rid of the boy. All right, if you click on them once, you can change it. I'm gonna change her to looking sick. You can see the other things that are available too, but I'm gonna move her more over like that. All right, there's all sorts of different options you can choose with this as well. Or if you want to change it to text or um, an image that you've already used or something else, you can do that. Um, my simple show scribbles is what's here now. All right, uh, for the cause, we don't need that person there. That doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, I don't know why that's there. We're going to get rid of this one. And uh, I want to. Where's my girl? There's my girl. There we go. Change her to that. There's my fluids. Drink all those fluids, Jackie. Okay. And I don't know why there's two doctors in there. We're going to delete one of them. Okay, that's fine. That looks good. Closing frame, unless if you pay for it, it only gives you two options. You just choose the two you want and then choose audio. Um, if you've got the free version, it pretty much limits what you can do with the audio part of it. Um, it has a kind of a canned voice, which you can do. You can record it and make it your own voice or you can upload. So the choice is yours, which you want to, whatever you wanna do. You can add music, change the volume, subtitles, all that good stuff too. When you're done, you can preview it and see what it looks like. This is Influenza. This is Jackie. She woke up this morning feeling very sick. She has a fever, a bad cough, achy muscles, and a sore throat. All she wants to do is sleep. Jackie goes to the doctor and he gives her a flu test. It comes back positive. She has influenza B. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea of what it would be like. Once you're done, you finalize it. Um, unfortunately, it's always going to be public and it's always gonna be standard definition um, with the free account. You click OK and then it publishes it for you. When it's all published, it will give you some links that you can use to share it with your um, with your classmates or your teacher. Um, and then you can show off what you learned. So this is my simple show.